Are you thinking about buying your first Apollo scooters? Shopping for your first electric scooters can feel overwhelming. All those specs and features can be a lot to take in. I'm Eloi, CTO here at Apollo, and in this video, I'm going to break down the key specification of our scooters. So by the end, all those impressive numbers on our product page will make a lot of sense. Let's get started. Before we dive into the specs, it's important to understand the difference between our commuter scooters and our performance scooters. Commuter scooters are built with everyday rider in mind, especially those who use their scooter as a primary mode of transportation. That means they're lighter and easier to carry in and out of your home, they offer great range and fast charging, and they're compact so storage is simple. And they're designed for low maintenance, using simpler suspension and braking system to keep things easy and reliable. Performance scooters, on the other hand, are built for more powerful and longer rides. Well, as the name suggests, if you're looking for speed, power, and control, this is the category for you. Performance scooters are built to go faster and offer smoother ride even at high speeds. They are ideal for riders who crave thrill or need serious power for longer commute, hilly terrain, or heavier loads. Of course, that also means they require a bit more maintenance and for you to be hands-on. You'll likely need to adjust or fine-tune certain components like the suspension or brake to match your preference. But if you are into customizing your ride and maximizing performance, it's absolutely worth it. But does that mean that commuter scooters can only be used for commuting or that performance scooters are just for weekend rides? Absolutely not. It's more about the primary use case we had in mind during development. In fact, many of our Phantom riders use their scooters to commute every day. Why? Because sometimes you just want or need more power, especially if you're a bigger rider or tackling steep hills. Like with any vehicles, Scooter involve trade-offs. So think about your lifestyle, where and how you'll be riding, and choose based on what suits you best. If you need help choosing the right model, check out the link down in the description below, where we break down the top commuting and performance scooter of 2025. Now let's dive into specs and what they actually mean. We often talk about top speed, but what really matters is being able to go at the speed you want to and having control over it. That's why our scooters come with full ride mode, Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Ludo. Take our new Phantom 2.0 for example. Eco mode caps your speed at 25 km per hour. Great for chill ride or navigating traffic. Control mode lets you cruise up to 40 km per hour for everyday commuting. Sports mode gets your blood going by reaching 55 km per hour. And lastly, Ludo mode unleashes full performance with a top speed of 85 km per hour. Keep in mind, more speeds equal more battery drain. If you're often riding fast or accelerating quickly, your battery range will decrease. That's why we always provide estimated range based on different riding styles. When picking an e-scooter, motor power and torque are crucial. Motor power, which are watts, affect your top speed and acceleration. Torque helps with hill climb and carrying heavier loads. If you're a heavier rider or live in a hilly area, choose a scooter with higher torque. Also, you need to know the difference between motor rated power, which refer to the continuous power that the motor can handle, and peak power, which are short bursts of max output, which is what you need to look for to understand acceleration or power for steep hills. And then there's the question of whether to choose a single motor versus a dual motor scooter. Dual motor scooter deliver more power, better hill climbing, faster acceleration, improved traction, and control. We recommend you to choose a dual motor scooter if you're a heavier rider or seeking next level performance. Max and Klein tell you how steep a hill your scooter can handle. The Apollo Phantom 2.0 handles up to 30 degree incline, the Apollo Go handle up to 25 degree incline. Now this one is a little trickier. When you see max range on a website, it's important to know that it's not a fixed number. Range depends on a few factors like battery size, rider weight, terrain, and riding style. In most cases, the advertised max range assumes very conservative riding. Think low speed, smooth road, and light riders. We're currently working on showing more realistic range estimate on our website based on our average speed and riding mode. So you'll know what to expect in the real world. And most importantly, our apps give you a live range estimate that's surprisingly accurate. It factors in incline speed and rider weight to predict your remaining range. Plus, the more you ride, the smarter it gets. That way, you're never caught off guard without battery power. Let's talk about durability and safety. All Apollo scooters come with IP66 water resistance, meaning they're well protected against rains and road spray. If you live somewhere wet, that's a must. You want to go deeper? Look at the UL certification. UL2271, it's for battery safety, and UL2272 is for the drivetrain and electrical safety. At Apollo scooters, all our scooters are UL certified, 
which also makes them compliant with local regulation in cities like New York City. Your scooter's brake are your best friend when it comes to safety, especially in traffic or at higher speeds. Here's a quick breakdown of the different types. This brake, they are powerful and reliable. They are the go-to for high performance model thanks to the strong stopping power. Then we have drum brakes, which are budget friendly and low maintenance. A great option for rider who wants simple and durable braking. We also have regenerative braking. This recovers the energy every time you slow down, feeding it back to your battery. They also deliver a smooth, gradual braking experience. Oh, and one more thing, our region brakes are easy on your end. The throttle system is super smooth and intuitive, meaning no more thumb pain like you get with the other brands. Think of your battery as your scooter's gas tank. Measure in watt hour. A tiny battery equals limited adventure and a powerful battery equals freedom. We use higher quality 21700 lithium battery in all our models. Then we have the suspension. A good suspension system transform your ride. Spring suspension is reliable and simple. It's great for urban roads. Hydraulic suspension is more high-end, ultra smooth for faster speed and rougher terrain. Then we have the rubber suspension, which is maintenance free, it's sleek and compact. Apollo scooters are matched with the right suspension depending on your use case. Tires also play a huge role in comfort and handling. Solid tires allows for no flat, low maintenance, but less shock absorption. I personally don't like them. Then we have tires with inner tubes, which are sometimes easy to fix, sometimes hard, but they are definitely cheaper. And then we have tubeless self-healing tires, which are more puncture resistant and are also more comfortable. So there you have it, a full breakdown of the scooter specs that matter. Whether you're looking for power, range, comfort, or simplicity, knowing these details help you choose the scooter that fits your life. If you got any questions, drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe.